gone too far. They can't right, really now. go. They can't right now. Charging back. They are trying to lure the Egyptians across the ford. Who are we going to make it? Yeah, we're going to make it. Close to reatta we're attacked. We're being attacked. Actually, they're coming towards you. Right, you can come across. Let's back across the river. The Egyptians are sending their chariots after the retreating Hittites. It looks like the team's plan is working. But will the Egyptians continue to play ball? Don't tell me they're going to stop. That would be awful. It's actually, it's a... Uh, it looks like they have. Yeah, they've stopped. That's a dirty trick. They're not supposed to do that. <laughs> I just heard Peter saying, they stopped, what a dirty trick. But that's the whole essence of it, warfare. You can't expect the other guy to cooperate. No, that's right. It's the interactive principle of war. They're beginning to break ranks and beginning to come down. Yeah, they're, just, they're just forming up again over here. The team have underestimated Ramses. Instead of falling for their bait, he uses the time to withdraw his chariots and prepare his army for a pitched battle. The Egyptian army's got out of their column of march and into battle line, they're much harder to just smack on the head of the column and drive into disorder. After the failure of their initial strategy, with their chariots in full retreat across the river, and a second Egyptian army possibly on the way, the team must quickly devise an aggressive second plan. We are going to have to go What are we going to do? Are we going to cross I think we're going to have to cross to them. Are we going to send in these guys? Um, James, if obviously that didn't work very well. Uh, it was good, it was really good. Uh, can, you, can you move your uh, chariots to the left flank, to their side of the river? Are you sure? I thought we just agreed that we weren't going to do that. Well, well because across. we just sent our chariots across and they're not coming across the river. They haven't fallen for it, unfortunately. So we, we've got to go across. Yes. The team decide to pile back across the river, this time with all their units in support. But they'll be fighting a very different campaign. They've lost the element of surprise, and the Egyptians are now ready for a pitched battle. Now what's happening is that the Egyptian army is getting itself organised, deploying into battle lines, and now, of course, they'll be a much tougher nut to crack. Now, instead of having to fight two small Egyptian armies, one by one, the team have got to fight one bigger Egyptian army. You need to move the infantry forward at the same time, because otherwise the chariots are going to get minced. All right, now the team, now the team is going to cross. Problem is, problem is, it might be too late. The team's chariots head back to enemy territory for a second time, but this time, massed ranks of Hittite infantry will follow them across. It sounds like the team is doing what they should have done to begin with: screen, cross, and fight the Egyptians. Just watch what's going on, because. They're coming down. We don't hold up troops in position for too long because they've got archers. Move, move, off to the, move off right. to the left. One of the dangers from the Hittite point of view is that these patches of vegetation become almost walls to their movement, that they channel their forces in the gap between them. And that's really helpful to the Egyptians. If they just are prepared to drive through and move through those areas of vegetation, they've got a much better chance of turning a flank. Okay, we're, we're okay at the you, moment. You need to move the infantry forward as quickly as possible. Hang on, they're getting isolated. Get, get these the guys guns. in. Send the, send the infantry in quickly. This aggressive new strategy is smart, but are the team too late? The Egyptian chariots are now prepared for the attack, and they seize the initiative. I think we're heading now for quite a, a contest of chariotry, aren't we? The Egyptian chariots are coming out to meet the Hittites. Right, we've got an attack. We've got an attack going on. The Egyptian chariots smash their way through a hastily assembled Hittite line. But the Hittites hold their own and send some of the enemy running for cover. Through luck more than judgment, the team have held off the second engagement of Kadesh and given Ramesses food for thought. Well, you see, in fact, the Egyptian chariots seem to have been broken by that close quarter fight. The Hittite superiority in chariotry told in the end and a lot of the Egyptian chariots are withdrawing you now. To, you want to engage their army right. after our army has got into a position to attack. Right. In right. relation to my, my chariots, where are my infantry going to go? Behind him, Behind going him. across the port. Where? It seems that Vicky can't execute her orders without constant support from her teacher, Peter. Her units have yet to cross the river. This leaves James's infantry unsupported on the Egyptian side and the team's army dangerously split in two. 
are we going to see some attacking? Because it, it, it concerned me that you, you got across the river and they went sightseeing. Yeah, if you've got your army advancing towards them on the plane, right. at the same time, the idea is that your chariots will uh, be able to go into their plane. Okay. They may fire through arrows, but hopefully our, cha our infantry will get across in, in time to see them off right. with their spears and continue on into their army. Well, I hope so too. I do too. That's the first sensible thing I've heard all day. The team has changed their plan. They've gone back to their original plan, used their chariots to scream an infantry crossing and aggressively go for Pharaoh's army. We've got to get these guys across. We've got to get these guys across. There's a couple of units back here which we haven't used. As the team scrabble to get their remaining infantry across the river, Sam makes an alarming discovery. What the? Oh, no. A second Egyptian army has appeared on the team's satellite view, and it's coming up behind them. This is the other army. Right, we've got to get cracking, because the other two armies are coming. We've got to win soon. Ah, now that the team have spotted the Narin, these guys have turned up at a critical point in the battle. Can you move the main screen back to uh, outside the army, to this corner, so we can have a look at exactly what's just arrived? A glint of armor on the horizon out there. Spears catching the sunlight. And they're uncomfortably close to the Hittite army. The team must attack with all they've got right away before that new bunch of Egyptians can get them. Right, that's bad news. Of course it's bad news. But before the team can coordinate their forces to meet this new threat, a unit of Egyptian chariots makes its move on the Hittite's left flank. They thunder towards her men, Vicky finally seizes the initiative and gets stuck in. The generals have no idea what's happened. You are supposed to be on their flank, not engaging. I'm, I'm not that that's Vicky. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky do not, come back. Can you please <laughs> come back? <laughs> You're so aggressive, Vicky. Well, I got really confused. <laughs> Having seen off the Egyptian chariots, Vicky recalls her units. And at last, the team's infantry prepare to attack. But with another Egyptian army approaching from their rear, the team must strike a heavy blow. We're going to attack with the infantry, sir. Yes. Right, okay. That's the original idea. But guys, can you hurry this along a bit? Because you have got two armies coming into your rear. They've got a sense of urgency in the last mission. A salutary sense of urgency. I think we're going to see a good old frontal clash of armies here. Yeah, we're going to see a whole lot of not very well trained infantry mixing it in. It's going to be a barroom brawl. They have got several units of archers, so I mean you are being shot at as well, so if you can go fast, it be good. As the troops thunder towards each other, the Egyptian archers unleash a swarm of arrows at the approaching Hittite spearmen. But it doesn't stop the team's advance. There are a few dead Hittites there on the field. Let's see if the Hittites can survive this hail. Of Egyptian arrows. What they really need to do right now is to take their chariots and, and use them to scatter that formidable force of Egyptian archers. Absolutely. But the team's chariots are nowhere in sight as their infantry surge forward to engage with the enemy. Soon, a second line of Hittite infantry move in to support. But Sam has his eye on the bigger picture, and he's worried about that second Egyptian army coming up behind. James, what did you do with the archers? Can you go put them near the fort? Because you have actually got, like, you, you can't see it, but on the other end of the battlefield there is, there are two armies coming to our rear, okay? Ah, so we're being attacked from both sides? Yes, we're going to get minced. Great. The generals want to defend the fort to prevent the new Egyptian army from crossing behind them. But this means sacrificing their advantage on the front line, where their superiority in numbers is finally making a difference. Vicky's been ordered to send her chariots to the left of the front line, where they can outflank the Egyptian forces and scatter their archers. But things haven't gone according to plan. Make sure you're not confused between her chariots and my chariots. Okay. 
Vicky, your chariot's supposed to be going around and attacking the, the, flat, the left flank. Yeah, these chariots, are these Vicky's? Yes, apparently. But Vicky's becoming...